वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स सो इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो सीरीज दैट इज ट्रिक्स ऑफ ट्रेड इन जी आई सर्जरी दिस इज द सिक्स पार्ट एंड इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओइसोफेकोजिनल एनास्टमोसिस हैंड सोन टेक्निक सो इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस थियोटिकली अबाउट यूसोफेकोजिनल एनास्मोसिस एंड वी हैव मॉडिफाइड दिस टेक्निक एज पर अवर ओन एक्सपीरियंस एंड दिस टेक्निक इज समवर्ट analogous to hepaticogenostomy technique which we follow and uh, for the surgery trainees and wedding surgeon i feel this is the safest technique while they are venturing into this field of surgery so a quick recap friends in the first part we discussed how to negotiate the umbilicus while giving midline laparotomy skin incision to avoid the ugly scar in the second part we uh, discuss how to find the linear alva in morbid obesity patient and to have a bloodless entry into the abdomen third short video was about uh, not through the falciparum that is how to negotiate the falciparum uh, while approaching the upper end of uh, incision in the fourth part we discuss the anatomical importance of arcuate line while closing the midline laparotomy the fifth video short video was dedicated about how to uh, achieve a good mask closer or tension mask closer and we have discussed two technique one is classical technique and one is another modified technique so friends uh, in reference to this present video talk that is the esophagogenal anastomosis we have already discussed uh, in detail about lap proximal gastrectomy uh, for a gist patient and in which we did lap esophagogenal anastomosis but i request the viewers and trainees to go through that video because you will have some better understanding and better uh, depth of the subject so friend the whole course that is tricks of trade in gi surgery and this stomach and g injection series the whole course is available on our app the app is available for android uh, and ios platform it is free to download app with many bonus content so please do get connected to us and download the app the link for app is available in description of this video and i will share in the i cards also for better learning experience it is requested and desirable that you download the app and have a better learning experience coming to the talk of this video so friends uh, the esophagus has been transected at the desired level and the rule limb has been fashioned so now we'll continue our talk from here onwards and so uh, first is we make a entrotomy on the rule limb that is the jejunum and as the diameter of the esophagus is roughly 2.5 cm so always keep the entrotomy on the jejunum smaller roughly 2/3 of the esophageal op opening and never more than 2 cm because as uh, with our experience and you will also understand that this entrotomy of the jejunum always get widens and always create a discrepancy so always measure this entrotomy with a measuring scale and roughly make it uh, just uh, closer to the 2 cm but never more than 2 cm then as a routine we apply these tucking sutures there is four point fixation on jejunal mucosa that is cat get 2 and that is just to keep the mucosa uh, close closer to the basically entrotomy otherwise it gets retracted and the whole aim of these anastomosis or any anastomosis in gi surgery is mucosa to mucosa apposition so we always have to ensure that mucosa stays in our uh, in our basically view and uh, we will also demonstrate the whole step everything in detail in live surgery uh, in time to come so stay tuned so this will be actually the first step uh, so we always uh, apply some soft clamp or right angle basculo clamp on the esophagus approximately 4 5 cm above the cut margin and that will avoid the retraction of the esophagus and will also keep it steady because this basculo clamp be, can be uh, tucked in a place so as i said earlier this technique is almost analogous to our uh, hepaticogenostomy technique with some uh, some minor differences uh, uh, this suture is pds foro suture we use and uh, uh, i have said many times in my previous talks and previous video that the pds is the best suture which is closer to the ideal suture so pds double arm suture uh, we always use and these are the first two suture placed and they are the most common suture these are basically corner suture number 1 and number 2 at 3 uh, o'clock and 9 o'clock position and we keep these sutures secure uh, uh, 
basically clamped between the two jaws of a rubber uh, short that is we apply the IFT over the mosquito forceps and we keep it uh, securely the two ends are keep, kept secured so the third suture will be uh, these are the anterior layer suture we always take and uh, these will be from outside in on the esophagus roughly the distance from the cut margin is 3 to 4 mm and this will be a 12 o'clock suture uh, so uh, this will be the third suture and uh, we always take it from the outside in and the needle should needle should be inside the lumen so another two sutures will be uh, basically halfway between the middle suture that is the 12 o'clock suture and the corner sutures so four and five sutures are midway and we at in this time that we replace while we are pre-placing the anterior layer sutures we only take three sutures and two corner sutures already taken and these are not basically brought under tension we just uh, keep them uh, securely in between the two jaws of the rubber clamp forceps you will have better understanding uh, when we will demonstrate this the whole step whole procedure in the live surgery but it is better to understand the theory behind it so that you understand the live surgery better so now we will shift our focus to the posterior layer so if you are using double arm or single arm uh, it is uh, not of much importance here so we are take we take a suture in the middle that will be six o'clock suture uh, in between the two lumens that is the uh, basically between the esophagus and the uh, jejunal limb and as i said the distance is roughly three to four mm from the cut margin and we be pre-place so uh, just remember friends we have not tied any suture so far all suture are just in place without any knots so as in the anterior layer we uh, take now suture number two and three uh, one is the middle so two between the corner suture and the middle suture and three again on the left and right side and uh, these are again pds sutures and uh, more sutures may be added if required and the roughly the distance between the uh, two sutures should be 3 mm so after taking these three posterior layer sutures we tie them and uh, we always start tying from the right side from the surgeon side and uh, we tie then all the knots are inside the lumen and as i said uh, more sutures may be added if required for roughly these three anterior three posterior and two corner sutures are sufficient to achieve a watertight uh, basically closure and we should not apply undue uh, sutures or unnecessary traction otherwise that will lead to ischemia another important thing to remember uh, important is remember to uh, important to remember is that uh, basically uh, esophagus lacks serosa so uh, this is the organ where the any anastomosis will be tricky and there are high chances of failure so friends now the pre-placed anterior layer sutures are taken and the corner sutures are left as such because we have already taken it through the esophagus and jejunum and these three sutures are taken and uh, at the end we tie the knots so anterior, we tie the posterior knots first then we take the anterior layer sutures we tie these knots and then we tie the corner sutures and also please remember to negotiate the uh, rise tube across the uh, anastomosis before uh, basically taking the anterior layer sutures and uh, uh, rise tube is negotiated roughly about uh, 20 to 30 centimeter the jejunal limb and if you are not adding uh, this uh, feeding genostomy then it is more important that we negotiate it properly and always negotiate the rise tube into the uh, rule limb before taking the anterior layer suture otherwise you will face difficulty that is a practical problem you will face additional external seromuscular sutures if you feel required but not more than two or three at the corners and one additional in the middle middle to just to uh, basically take off the tension on a suture line may be applied but they are not of very much very help and also remember that if you apply too many sutures it leads to ischemia and there is a more chance of the anastomotic failure so friend that will complete our esophago genome anastomosis and things will be become clear as we will demonstrate uh, the live surgery and if you have background knowledge of this theoretical discussion then you will understand these steps in live surgery better and please do watch our uh, that video of lab proximal gastectomy in which we did uh, double track reconstruction, reconstruction and that uh, things will uh, get better into the perspective and the whole course this whole series available on 
our app and members only section on youtube so uh, the, it is desirable as i said earlier that uh, the for better learning experience you get connected to us on our app so thank you very much friends happy learning stay tuned